Mexico. But what we didn't talk about is where in Mexico we were going to go. And how did, how did, how did, how did we finally decide on where we were going to go in Mexico? Well, we started reading about some places that expats go a lot. And one of them that sounded super appealing to us was uh, Ajijic, Lake Chapala area, yeah. which has got this big lake. I think it's... Yeah, the, the interesting thing, because we were living in Denver at the time, was uh, people kept saying, hey, this, is, this place has got the world's, one of the two world's uh, perfect uh, climates. Oh, that's and, right. And, 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 and it was at 5,000 feet above, you know, above sea level, just like Denver. And it has a huge freshwater lake. Yeah, like what, 420 square miles. It's actually the largest freshwater lake in uh, in Mexico. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we just kept reading about all these Canadians and Americans who, who, who went there and, and just loved it. And, yeah. uh, you know, and it sounded, it sounded interesting. However. Well, you know, then we were like, oh, but there's so much in Mexico we haven't seen. Yeah. And, you know, Chapala and Ahihi sounded a little small to me. So, um, it may be better when we're older or if we want to settle down, but we're still young. Yeah, and it may not be the first place we wanted wanted to go. Yeah. So, so that was out. That was out. And so we, we looked at other places in Mexico. And, um, you know, we've been to Mexico many times, mostly like, like most American tourists. We've been to the coast. Yeah. You know, we've been to... The Yucatan Peninsula. And Riviera, yeah, the Riviera Maya, Cancun. Um, and then uh, we've been to uh, Mazatlan. Mazatlan on the west coast. We've been to um, the Puerto Vallarta area yep, a whole and, bunch of times. Yep, and the Huevo, so love Huevo Vallarta, yep. Buceria, Sayulita, and uh, you know you love that. But but then again, we've been there, and uh, we we wanted to explore something new. So uh, well, you know the other thing is that flying into Nuevo Vallarta a couple times, I looked out the window and saw this incredible cordillera, the mountain range. This Gorgeous mountain range. Yeah, we yeah. haven't actually seen any of those mountains except from the beach. We've looked at them, but we hadn't been in them. Yeah, we, we realized we hadn't seen the interior at all of Mexico. Yeah, and you know that we thought about Mexico City, and uh, but then then we also thought about what we wanted to do when we first got down there, and and you know our our plans, you know, are sort of a little little different than many other people in that uh, you know we may have talked about this in the past, and that we wanted to just go and immerse ourselves in the Spanish language. And we wanted to, uh, you know, take uh, Spanish immersion classes. You know, so, yeah. um, so and, and also, we're not just interested in lying on the beach all the time. No. I mean, we both love the ocean, and I love kayaking. We love the beach. But we love culture. We've lived near cities throughout our marriage. We, we really enjoy music and culture and art and things like that. So there's just a lot to explore beyond sand and ocean. And we, also, we also know that the beach areas get uh, hot and humid in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> and, yep. uh you know, but uh, so so we started looking at uh, you know, where were there good Spanish language schools, and I kept looking around and looking around, and I finally found uh, finally found one in Guadalajara, and uh, you know, and uh, you know the one in Guadalajara, you know, Guadalajara is uh, you know the second largest city in Mexico, yeah, but um, it's, it's a mile high, just it's, like it's, Denver. It's a mile high like Denver, five thousand uh, yep. five thousand feet above uh, sea level. You know, it's in the Central Highlands, place we've never been before. But only like three or four hours from the beach. Yep. I mean, it sounded, sounded great. So, um, you know, I, I looked at this language school and, uh, you know, it, it, sounded, it sounded great. So then I did a little research because this Guadalajara language school was also in a village called Plaque Paque, which I had to learn how to pronounce. But I did a little research into Plaque Paque and, and it's this Pueblo Magico, this magical town, I guess. It's an official yep. designation for a really well-preserved old town and a place where they also re really preserve well the traditional crafts, in the case of Tlaque Paque ceramics. And I also learned that the food was supposed to be great there and very walkable. And I said to Bob, I think I'd like to live there for a while. Yeah. And, and the, 20 the, minutes from downtown Guadalajara. 20 minutes, exactly. And, yeah. and the even better parts about the, uh, the Guadalajara Language Center um, you know, was that uh, they, they rented apartments and uh, we found, yep. we, you know, they, they had a reasonably priced uh, four bedroom, uh, four bedroom unit there, which was good for, you know, the two of us and, and Gavin. And when Eric came down on, uh, on break, um, you know, and if anyone wanted to come visit us, we had room, room for them too. We only really need a three bedroom, but we got four. Uh, I, because but, it was the pet friendly unit. Yeah, exactly. It was also the pet friendly unit because we had the three cats. It was in a gated community. <laughs> yeah, there was room to park our car. 
And it was within walking distance of the center of town and of the Guadalajara Language yeah. Center. But the other good part about the the Guadalajara Language Center is that they they also promised to have some clef classes, which uh, we thought would be great great for for Gavin to be able to get some college credit on their gap year. So what's a clef class? So clef class is a college level examination program where you can go and take a test, and uh, you know many many colleges you know accept that for credit. Yep. And uh, you know so uh, you know depending upon your level of proficiency, at least in the languages, you know Gavin could have got either six six or nine hours of, of credit. Uh, so that, I mean that just that was just sort of the icing on the cake for us. It sounded it sounded perfect. Yeah. It sounded a great location, you know. And uh, so we uh, we we finally set you know where we were going to go exactly. And uh, into the into the central high into the central highlands in Guadalajara. Yeah. And we were we were certainly looking uh, looking forward to that. So the plan was to go to Salakipaque, Guadalajara, live there for four months. Yep. So that we would be there through Eric's spring break. So January through April. April, yeah. And take classes four hours a day for five days a week at the Guadalajara Language Center. Yep. For the first two months we were there, and then yep. start start exploring. Yep. And uh, so, and that was it. I guess we're we're we were we were ready. We were ready. And we were excited to begin exploring Mexico in places that other people have never been, never heard of. Particularly and can't pronounce. Vamos a Tlake Pake. Vamos a Tlake Pake. And uh, we'll, we'll tell you we'll tell you about our journey getting to Guadalajara and Tlake Pake in uh, in our next video. Mm -hmm.